As the year 2024 unfolds, the digital landscape is rapidly being transformed with innovative video trends and technologies. With new opportunities comes new challenges, challenges that many content creators and marketers alike are struggling to adapt and utilize. That's why in this video, I'm gonna share with you the five types of videos that will help grow your business in 2024. The first one I wanna talk about are short form videos. Short form videos refer to videos that are under a minute long. They're quick, they're punchy, and they appeal to our short attention spans. In the past, short form videos have been more popular on platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, and even Facebook. But even in the past year, platforms such as YouTube have even been pushing short form video with their YouTube shorts. If you really wanna expand your brand's reach with lead generation and engagement, utilizing short form videos is definitely the way to go. However, it's also worth noting that many short form videos are really just clips from one long form video. Which brings me to number two, long form videos. For those that want to engage their audiences at a deeper level, long form video is still a very viable option. Podcasts especially have seen a huge rise in popularity. While platforms like YouTube and Spotify have been the ones catering to this audience, other platforms, notably TikTok, are starting to incorporate long form video options. And the reason for this is that a lot of viewers really want to seek out stories, want more in-depth information, and feel a sense of community that develops between the creator and their audience. While short-form videos are easier to consume, long-form drives higher conversion rates and develops a strong connection between the brand and consumer. Historically speaking, I think there will always be a place for content that encourages us to slow down, engage deeply, and savor the richness of a well-told story. And while the jury is still out on whether long-form video on TikTok is viable, my opinion is that those that are able to bring high engagement that short videos have to keep their viewers' interest are gonna have a massive advantage if they bring that to long-form video. If this is your first time visiting the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be the first to receive practical real life tips on how to improve your videography and photography skills. Number three, user generated content. In 2024, I think we're gonna see a monumental shift towards raw, unfiltered content. When you have a low production quality, a lot of times that just resonates more with people and building trust. I mean, we've already been seeing this already with a lot of product reviews, makeup tutorial, to video ads, so keep it real. This is also why a lot of big brands are putting more of their budget towards content creators rather than full-on video productions. In the past, your big goal was to get maybe a celebrity to endorse your product. Well, now they want just regular, normal people. They don't even have to have a big audience. This would be really encouraging for those that think, oh, I can't make videos because I don't have a fancy camera, I don't have fancy lighting, I don't have any of those things. So now you don't have really any excuses. And what was once maybe an obstacle for creating videos can now actually be an advantage. Which brings me to the third video trend, AI-driven video creation. The evolution of AI and video production is rapidly transforming how we create content. From automating tedious editing tasks to actually generating vivid animations, AI has been a game changer. With the release in early 2024 of OpenAI's Sora, text-to-video is now becoming a reality. It's exciting and it's a little scary but it's also enabling creators to produce high quality videos faster than ever before. And it's not just about saving time, it's also gonna be opening a lot of doors to new creative possibilities. So my prediction is AI as it is involved with video creation is gonna play a major role and those that embrace it are gonna have a huge advantage. Have you used AI in your video creation process? If you have, I'm really curious to hear about it. Go ahead and leave a comment right now and tell me about your experience. Another reason that creators are gonna really want to embrace AI is the fact that you can tailor videos to viewer preferences and behaviors. Which brings us to the next video trend, personalized videos. In this day and age, everybody expects a personalized online experience and video is no different. On one end, you have many salespeople such as car salesmen or realtors that are now following up with leads using a video. So say if you're interested maybe in a car, you'll get a follow-up video from a salesperson saying, hey, I pulled the car out, I thought I'd give you a quick little tour, and it's personalized just for you. Same thing can go with uh, real estate, things where the realtor can actually just walk through the house with the person just holding their phone camera and giving them a virtual tour. This saves a lot of time and back and forth between clients, answers a lot of questions, and also just gives a much richer, deeper experience for the buyer. On the flip side, many videos are viewed in various settings. 
at the office, in waiting rooms, or just lying in bed, and they're all being viewed without sound. Believe it or not, more videos are probably viewed without sound than with sound. This is why creators need to create videos that are appealing for scrolling on mute. This is why having captions is really important and a lot of visual graphics that will keep the user engaged so they can understand what's going on. Honestly, I think I learn more from watching a video on mute, reading the captions than I do just listening to it. And the reason for that is because when you're reading it, it's a more active experience and therefore I'm gonna retain more information. If it's something that I'm just passively listening to, well, I'm not gonna retain everything as much because I don't have to do anything, I just have to listen. So that's why I think it's a big benefit to make sure your videos are optimized for silent viewing. Another thing to add to that is multiple languages. And this is something I saw on a Mr. Beast interview where he said once he started incorporating multiple language dubbed videos, he saw a huge increase in video views. Think about it. There's a huge world out there and they're all coming online. And again, this is a very can be a very laborious task, such as hiring somebody to translate those videos and actually do the speaking. But with AI, that's now becoming a very simple task that you can do at the push of a button. The final trend I wanna talk about are interactive videos. The ultimate goal for anybody is to turn a passive viewer to an active lead and then a paying customer. And interactive videos are definitely a way to help achieve that. What I mean by interactive, well, that means adding elements like polls, quizzes, any kind of integrated lead capture that you can actually put onto the video that they can click on and engage with. Some software can even take it a step further where you can even make it kind of a game where you can tap on something or press a button and it'll take you to another area, maybe of a room or whatever that it is you might be doing. When your video becomes interactive, then it becomes an active experience. And that transforms them from just watching passive content to, to becoming active lead generation tools. This approach keeps you, viewers engaged, gathers important information, and increases your conversion rate. So in conclusion, we are now at the beginning of a huge change in how videos are both created and viewed. Whether you like it or not, embracing this sea change is what's gonna really ensure future success. But some things don't change, where you still need to know who your customers are, where they are, and what they wanna watch. You wanna entertain, engage, inform, and then convert. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button, and also hit the subscribe button to be the first to receive real life, actionable tips on how to improve your videography and photography skills. My name is Andrew Cooper at andrewcoopervideo.com. I'll see you next time. Take care.